Okay, so let's go to the smart grid. Is the smart grid part of the Internet of Things, or is that, in theory, separate? Or is the electrification for the Internet of Things? Well, it is part of the Internet of Things in the sense that it's an inanimate device, that smart meter that sits on the side of your home or business. And the overall idea is to transmit the energy that you're using in your home back to the utility so that they can analyze it and figure out exactly how you are consuming energy. And what that means in most cases is determining what kind of devices do you have inside your house? When do you use them? Uh, how much energy do you use? How efficient are they? And the latest and greatest smart meter that's being installed today in most new places at least is able to communicate directly with devices, major devices inside your home, like your potentially your, through your Wi-Fi router. It can get at your refrigerator, your thermostat, your lights, your things like Alexa and you know Google Home and stuff like that. And they can harvest a ton of data out of your home about you and what you do. Even with right. older models, however, they can use the signature of the electricity being used to figure out exactly what it was being used for. Most people don't understand that. A light bulb, for instance, when it's flipped on or it is on, leaves a certain energy signature in the way energy is consumed by that device. A motor in your refrigerator leaves an energy signature when it turns on and when it runs. They don't need to have direct right. communication necessarily to figure out exactly what they have in your home. However, when you come right. to the Internet of Things now, where every device in the world is connected is going to have its own IP address. That's the Internet protocol address, kind of like a phone number is to humans. But every device is going to have a discrete number. And the organizations that the, the controls the Internet that catalogs all those addresses, like kind of like the phone book, they collect data on all the devices that are connected to the internet. That's what their job is. They're a cataloging service, essentially. And when, for instance, if every refrigerator or every thermostat in an area had a unique IP address that could be touched from the outside of the home or business, then without having to go through your Wi-Fi router and any, you know, the, or the smart meter, whatever, right. you could simply touch it directly and control the whole lot of them at the same time. So you can see where this is going is that everything is going to be connected in such a way that all of the autonomous cars will be recognized, all of the thermostats will be recognized, all of the cameras uh, that collect pictures of people. And once everything is cataloged, the data pump can begin. <laughs> right. And the control over those devices can begin. Right. 